find out here. Right, Aaron's coming. Where is he? Yeah, Aaron, doing your mic, he's coming now. Okay, thank you for joining us. Players are just having their uh, trial ends here before we get underway. We have Kenneth Howe from Wales just playing here with the Black Bowls. And Broner Tolman playing with the Speckled Blue Bowls. Players just having their trial ends. Should be a good match this one. Both players coming through their group. So, again, let us know who you're cheering on. Who you think is going to win? <laughs> and if you've got any questions, please let us know. We're playing 12 ends. Brona to go first. start from Broner playing a slightly straighter side of the mat. Kenneth playing the swingier side. So you can see how far his bowls moved across. <coughs> oh, great uh, second bowl there from Broner. It's a toucher as well. Kenneth sticking to the forehand, any contact onto the shot bowl or just slipping by is really good. Yeah, very good bowl out. Broner still holding. You can see Broner switch to the, the forehand here. Yeah, she's having a little look on the backhand. Yeah, sticking to the forehand. Get her mind up. Looks a bit light out of the hand. Yeah, it is taking a bit more green, and it is a little bit uh, slower on that side. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Brand uh, Brendan. Sarah, thanks for joining us. Sure to have some really good matches now. We're into the knockouts now, so it's uh, very much a cutthroat now. All of these matches that are in play at this session are in the Cup Last 64. Some really good names, as you would expect, through to this stage. Got some really good matchups. We chose this one for the live stream. You can see how that just held off again on that side. It's been causing players a bit of problems in the earlier matches that we've had here. I think Brunner will just try and draw again. Draw Kenneth's second bowl here. That looked better. Well, not made it uh, any easier for Kenneth here. Probably stick with the backhand arriving shot. Just needs to adjust his line. Yes, it's not going to bend much. That looks better. Well, chops it away. It's probably enough to give him a shot. 
Yep, yeah, I think it is. One shot. Yep. Yeah. So one shot to Kenneth there. Some really good matchups also taking place in this stage of the competition. And some very tight groups. Players going through on head to head and shot difference. Interesting is both these players, they've got a preference to which hand they prefer to lead off of. Brona on her backhand and Kennet on his forehand. Brona playing weight to this. Two touches Kennet's here, so be a little bit careful. Not tight. Not a bad result. Let's open it up a little bit. Hi Adam, uh, Benny he didn't get through in the group actually, he was in a very tough group uh, and he went out on shot difference, uh, but he's through to the last 32 of the plate competition, certainly going to be one of the favourites for the plate competition. It was Noel Graham and Steve McAdister who got through that group, again it was very tight. Steve Proctor also missed out in that group. See Broner there just demonstrating, I think, the frustration with that side of the green. Again, depending on the bowls that you use, we found the players with the swingy bowls haven't really had too much of a problem on that side. The straighter your bowl, I think, the more that side can frustrate you. Sitting quite nice for Kelly at the moment, can try and tie this up. Sits right on top of the jack, will be very good. Looks to be on a fairly decent road here. It's just going to... Oh, that's to finish well. Definitely guaranteed the shot. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Mark. Uh, Mike, thanks for joining us from Cyprus. I don't think there's anything more than a draw here, to be honest. And it just needs to work out a line to the jack. This looks to be slightly better. All on the weight here. It will come back, as you can see, just over the pace. Yeah, good effort. If it drops, it could. It's moving, but I wonder if it's going to move enough. So, one, two. Kenneth, yep. So, confirm there. One to Kenneth. 2-0 after two ends. So just confirmation there. Ian Hobson is still going strong. Ian, he's in the last 64. I'm just seeing who he's up against. He's out. He's either at this side or on the other rink, but I definitely heard his name <coughs> being called out. So Ian is still going. And again, one of the Players that will certainly fancy his chances in this event. Going to go in aggressive here early. Good hand to play this on. Yeah, very good. Nice little result off of the shot bowl. But it was going in fairly clean anyway. Very experienced singles player, Broner. And she's originally from Ireland. She has re uh, represented England in singles before. Mm, 
and so it's Broner who I played against in the national singles final many moons ago. Broner was the first female bowler to make a national singles final in England. He's followed up that first bowl of a jack in the ditch with two really good draws here. So she's put a bit of pressure on Kenneth here. He's three down. He's going to have to do something with his last bowl here. Good drop in the count. So he's got enough pace on this. Uh, might have cut one away. There's an opportunity for four here. Just arriving down and pushing onto the last bowl for four. Yep. Just close here. Very good. So played that a really good weight. Four shots. All right, Becca, it's 2-1 uh, in Liam Smith's match, but I can't tell if that's Liam on top or bottom. So confirmation with that four, it is now 4-2 to Broner. Three ends played. Good start. Again, we hear a few people talk about the jack in the ditch with the first ball. You see the Broner utilising that. And she didn't play it with loads of weight. She played it with nice weight, reached the jack into the ditch. And she ended up picking up a four. It does create some debate out there with people. But we think it's a perfectly valid shot. As you can see, Broner's drawing away on this end. So... It's not a tactic that a lot of players use all the time. Good response there, really good. Made two of that. Good turnaround. And being two down himself. Hi Chris, thanks for joining us. Just a draw again for Broner here. Drop round the her own Front bowl, she's close here. As the weight comes off, she's dropped right back. Great bowl. Really good bowl. Not easy to get to now. Hi Barbara, thanks for joining us. Just dropping down on the backhand here. He's a bit tight, yeah. That hand can draw you in. I've just got to be a little bit careful to this. Doesn't want to be touching her own shot bowl. Any touch on that will pop the jack back. Kennedy's bowl waiting. It's not just switch to the forehand. Nice and wide. Will get round quite comfortably on this side. Just hold off naturally. She's on a good road here. Has the pace. Looks really good. Oh, just a bowl short. That might have given an edge though to Kenny to use. Yeah, it's plain white. <laughs> mm. 
good effort. Had to play it with that sort of weight because he was trying to get through the split and run. So that's give himself the best opportunity there. So one shot to Broner. It's now five two after four ends. So we'll be bringing you as many matches as we can this afternoon. We'll put this match obviously that we're streaming now. Next session on is uh, the cup, uh, sorry, the plate and shield last 32. And then we'll be back bringing you live coverage from the last 32 of the cup competition. That'll be the winners of this round here. Plenty of green there. Touch the jack behind. Really good here. So it's right on top. Yeah, very good. You can see Kelly trying to get round it at least. Might just have given that bit too much. Caught in two minds there, I think. Looking to either just get round it and or make contact. Just keep drawing away. Behind will be very good. This is just going to pull up, but as long as it stays there, that's good. Okay, it's still looking as if he's just over the draw here. So, cleaner road. Well, that's changed things, but. Matty Warden, just confirming. Uh, someone asked me earlier about Ian Hobson. He's up against Stephen Bainbridge, I can see, over the far side. I'm just looking to see if I can see Matty. Yeah, Matty is up against Jonathan Payne, Graham. So, tough match there. I'll confirm what that score is as well. All square, Jonathan Payne and Matty Warden. Two all after four ends. So, very tight match, that one. Rona's just thinking about what she plays here. Doesn't want to push that one up. Might have cut one away there. Thanks, Melvin. Yeah, I'll try and get the score for you, Becca, on the next mat. I'm measuring at the moment. Okay, here trying to bump his own bowl up in for shot. Looks to be on a good road. Again, it might just be two. The wrong side of where he was aiming his own bowl but just confirm if it's one or two looks like two but I'll wait for the umpire so it's umpire it's two all in the Liam Smith two in a bow match so Liam's just taken the lead in that three two so that's three two to Liam Another close match. There's some really good games out there. These are the other matches that are taking place in the cup. There's been a few big names that haven't made it this far. Ollie Hipkiss against Lee Hall, that's a good match there. Lee playing in his first tour event. Good to see Lee back bowling this season at a very good standard. We wait for confirmation here. So, Broners, that's two shots. So, 6-2 now to Broner after four ends. Show you the 
of for those that haven't got their sound on. Hmm, wait, wait, six two, but I'll wait for the players to query that. Yep, Rod's still going in the plate competition. players in the shield that are quite surprising. Steve Proctor and Joel Hager they find themselves in the shield. So it can happen, you get into a tough group. Standard has certainly improved year on year. And the players that play in multiple Events getting very good practice. So we see Brona drawn in for three here. Very good ball. He's certainly been putting the pressure on Kennedy and Fulton Kennedy to try and play the aggressive shot. It's close here. Great ball. That's all you can do though from Brona's perspective. Just keep asking the question. Hopefully, your opponent misses. Finished very well. Just looking at the angle there, does look pretty good actually. Just seeing at what's the best angle to attack that. see this yep forehand runner playing the furthest bowl away from where we are onto her own might just be a bit wide doesn't do much on that hand you've got to go straight at your target on that hand hi Derek yes Ian is still in the cup competition he's up against Stephen Bainbridge of Wales can't quite see their scoreboard. They're over the far side on mat 10. It said someone's winning 11 2, so I don't know who that is. Just on the draw here. He's a bit over the pace, doesn't want to hit this too hard. <laughs> Face us it all, we knew it was a bit heavy there. So one shot to Kennedy. Seven three to Broner. Six ends played. Good start this end from Kenneth putting the pressure back on Broner, but what a draw. Really good. Certainly found the weight very well. The last three or four ends. Bruno <coughs> just taking a look here. I don't know if that should go attacking at this. 
Uh, by Wizard Toucher. She won't be frightened if the jack does go in a ditch. I think that's what we're going to see here. An aggressive shot on the forehand. Yep, just over the pace. Trying to push the shot bowl away. Uh, let's not finish too bad. See that game, Kevin. Don't know if they're on this rink or on the next rink to us. from Brona. She's probably one down. That she's one down. still playing Derek. Well that has pushed Brona's closest bowl further away so she's probably two yeah two down now. Big draw here for Brona. She gets around this and pulls up. She has very good bowl. This really good. A lot of pressure on that bowl. So one shot to Brona. Eight three now. After seven ends. Certainly finding her drawing game. Liam Smith is 5-2 up against Tuna Bow on the next mat to us. So we're concentrating on the game here. Brona, 8-3 up, playing very well. Playing the big bowls when she needs them. Oh, we see Kenneth go for the aggressive shot here. I think he needs to try and change something in this match. Yet, yeah, put his hand up so he's playing weight to this. He needs to do something. Wait on that. Oh, got a result. And we're a bit fortunate. Brown are just drawing away. It holds up here. No. So a little chance here for Kenneth. Just draws down. Make three of this. that a bit too much. Don't think that will kick back. <coughs> I see what he was after. But I think the draw, just over the draw is probably the weight you need on that hand anyway. Quite got the, the 
need a little little edge off of her own. Put a hand up there, as you see, players do get a little bit of fortune. Hi Derek, if you go to our website, shortmapplayerstour.com, click on the British Open Live, and you'll get access to some links that will take you to all of the scores as and when we get them. Yep, good bowl from Kenneth there. Which is a jack back for one. So 8 4 now. After 8 ends. 8 4, 8 ends. 4 to go. Shout from Jonathan Payne, also just played a big bowl against Matty Warden. Good start. Brony will go for this. <coughs> no, just drawn away on the backhand. left the first one there, it was a nice little rest for Kenneth, so it's just switching to the aggressive shot on the forehand. Well, it took one away, didn't quite catch the shot bowl full in the face. Janet, thanks for joining us. That's in for two. Give us some wide. Still not might be enough on that hand. be one here. Have a little look. I don't think there's anything more than a draw on here really. Could be aggressive and look to try and edge the jack across the other side of the mat but if you're tight and you push the jack back full you could be three or four down so I think it's just a draw here. Nice and wide. Weight was pretty good last time, just needs to make that slight adjustment. Better here, better here. Yeah, very good. So, one to Brona. 9 4 now, 9 ends played. James, uh, in terms of the Welsh contingent, Jamie Styles is still in competition, Andrew Jones is still in the competition in the cup. Just seeing who else is out there. Daffid Howe is also still going, so Kenneth's brother. 
all I can see at the moment. I'm sure there's more, but again, if you go to our website or link on there for our live scores, you'll see all of the, the draws for all of the different cup, plate and shield. Alright Derek, probably too many to name here. Again, if you have a look at the website, you'll see all of the players that are still in the competition. Alright Jonathan, good question. What we tend to do, so when we have the group matches for the stream, we look at which match we think is the, in terms of on paper, is the best match one that we would like to see. And we pick those for the show mat and same thing when we get to the knockouts. Also like to give some new faces a, an opportunity as well. So again, we're always open to suggestions if anyone's got anybody that they'd like to see on the show mat. We'd certainly take it into consideration. So we just see a really good bowl there from Kedid. Chipping the jack over to his own two bowls. And it's just looking at what the situation is here. She could really force down onto the backhand here. So yeah, we looked at the last 64 and we thought, well, both of these players, very experienced, have been on the show map previously, haven't been on this weekend, so. And probably a game that most of you would like to watch, as you are. Too disappointed with that. She's cut it down to one. Martin's just sorry, uh, Kenneth. Sorry, he's just looking at the scoreboard to see what's uh, what's his best option here. I think Broner's got second and potentially third here. Glenn Harvey is is still in Vince. I think he's playing James Trot in the cup. Five all now, Becker. Liam against Tuna. So one shot to Kenneth there. That's nine, five, ten ends played, two to go. So just confirmation there. Nine, five, ten ends. Scores are coming in now, so if you do have a look at the website. Jonathan Payne is all square with Matty Warden playing the last end. Date of that one as and when happens. We see Brona going for the jack. Well, she won't be disappointed with that result actually. Touch her in the ditch. Matty is currently holding with the last bowl to come. From Jonathan. Jonathan has won that match with the last bowl. We see Kenneth taking the jack in the ditch. So he'll be picking up at least one on this end, which he certainly needs to do to keep this match alive. And good response from Brona. Doesn't want to be too close to the line. She can't get shot, obviously. She doesn't want to make it too easy for Kenneth here. Playing the right hand here, 
trying to drop down on this swinging side of the carpet. Just a bit too much. Stays on. Oh, might not all be bad, that one. Yeah, good question for Prona. Does that last bowl beat the her bowl in the ditch? She's just thinking ahead there. Those of you just joining us, it's currently 9-5 to Brona. This is the 11th end. One more to go after this. Kenneth is sitting in the ditch with the jack. So we'll certainly be picking one up here. Seen a really big turnaround shot on the Liam Smith tuna bow. Tuna was holding three. Liam played down, took all three bowls away, picked up three himself. Brona just looking here. She doesn't want to make this too easy for Kenneth. Okay, she might be actually going for the corner bowl of. She might just be under here. I think this is going to bend away. Yeah, it will do. Oh no, she's got a result there. I think she'll be happy with that. She's taken that bowl away. So two would give Kenneth a real opportunity on the last end. One would make things fairly difficult. Picking up a three to draw is never easy. Big bowl this. It's got a bit more on this. Looks better. Just just gone. Well, it might still it might still have crept in for two. Groner has got a bowl left to draw. She's out on a good road. There's her weight. That's really good, I think. No, just over. Really good effort. Let's just see if it's one or two. Looks like two actually. Yeah, I'll be asking for two. Two shots. <laughs> so, nine seven now. Last end, so big end here. Forget this is knockout now, unlike the matches we brought you yesterday. <laughs> Kenneth needs to pick up two to take us to a tie break. I'll explain the tie break rules if we do get to that stage. And then this one come down to the last bowl here. Brona looks good with this one. Very good. Might be seeing change of hands here for Kenneth. So twitching to his backhand, following Brona down, but playing it with a bit more weight. Doesn't want to leave it to his last bowl. Alright Jonathan, thanks for the suggestion. Yeah, we, we tend to, when we get into the latter stages here, we look at the cup competition. <laughs> John Lax, uh, as usual, whenever it goes very quiet, gives everybody a bit of a wake-up call. <laughs> uh, 
Brona's got two bowls left here, so she's just looking at where the best place to put this one. She will have the last bowl, so... I'll tell you that Liam Smith has gone through against Tuna Bow. Score here, 9-7 to Brona. She's currently holding one in the head. So, last bowl from Kenneth here. To keep him in the competition. <coughs> Caught in two minds here. The backhand is certainly the easier in terms of the it will turn for you. Giving it a go. I think he's just the one. So that will be Brona through. Yeah. Really good match there. So Brona through 9-8. We'll just try and get an update on some of those other matches for you. Have a look here who's still playing. So Nigel Reed against Paddy McIlvany. I think that's going to be Paddy through. Some results for me. Can you get some results for me? Uh, John Lax beat Mark Beatty is one of the results that I've just got through for you. Paddy McIlvany just confirmed that he did beat Nigel Reed there. Ian Hobson. So I can just show you the venue here. I'll wait for some of those results to come over. Dan Windmill up against Faye Ray here. Don't forget these are all cup. I just heard that Ian Hobson did win his match. So I'll get the scores for you. So Ed Sawbridge came through 14-7 against Chris Banfield. Carl Hudson lost to Nick Wyatt 10-6. Gary McNabb won 13-2 against Alan Harwood. Richard Williams won 12-10 against Lars Runa Loritsen. Thomas Coles lost 6-20 to Noel Graham. Jonathan Payne coming through against uh, Matty Warden with the last bowl, 9-7. Daffod Howe won 10-5 against Ian Ford. And Ian Hobson came through Stephen Bainbridge 13 6. Mitchell Young, last end, came through against Adam Masson 9 8. Stephen McAllister 6, Alex Cromie 12. Lawrence Moffat 13, Bernie Durkin 4. And Mike Clancy, 12, Jürgen Carlson, 7. So that should be most of the matches there. There are a few more that are still in play. So I'll just keep on this match here. Last, James Trott came through his match as well, just hearing. Dan Windmill against Faye Ray here. The score is currently 13-10 to Dan, I believe. So... Just working out here. <laughs> oh, 
good bowling from Dan there. to play weight at that. Dan will just go for the best back here, I think. So you got the pace. And he's not too happy with that. Jack might go off now, actually. So for those of you that have just joined us, match between Broner and Kenneth. Broner came through by one shot, 9-8. I'm just concentrating on the last end here of the Fay Ray Dan Windmill match. Dan is currently three up and he's holding uh, three or four in the head. Don't think there's a shot for three or four here. It's gonna have to be Jack off the mat, I think. It might just go off. See what happens here. Oh, she's playing a backhand, wow. So that's Dan through. Right, thank you very much. We'll catch you again when we come back to the cup knockouts, which will be in a couple of hours' time. <laughs>